A narcissist's relationship with everything in their life is dysfunctional and extreme, money being just one of those things. They use money not only to enable their narcissism but also to control people in ways they can't escape. Their relationship with money is extreme in that they either overspend, underspend or spend in general based on the outcome they are trying to achieve or what they want to happen. Let's talk more about this in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In this episode, we will Will learn about five shocking money related habits of a narcissist if that is what you want to learn more about please make sure to press the subscribe button and push that bell icon to stay updated with everything latest that i post over here also follow if you're listening to this episode on a podcast channel before we start i am curious to know what was the most toxic money related habit of the narcissist you were with drop your answers in the comments below without further ado let's get started number one they crave luxury and status and try to achieve them through money. Some narcissists like grandiose ones exhibit one of the most common toxic money habits, craving luxury and status just for vanity and admiration. They're always drawn to products, services and experiences that are high-end luxurious without caring if they need them or not. They want the most expensive doctor, the best hairstylist and the most famous beautician to differentiate themselves from the commoners, from the people they consider to be way blow them. They spend lavishly on whatever they think will make them look like a big shot and a VIP. Money enables them to associate with high status people, celebrities and other public figures because it makes them feel like they are a part of an elite group. They want people to know that they have money to burn and can afford the most luxurious and expensive things. In reality, spending like this is nothing but a band-aid put on an injury on a wound that needs stitches. It is a way to cover their insecurities under the blanket of false safety that money temporarily provides. Number two. They are careless and irresponsible with money. They're often careless and irresponsible with their money. As a form of addiction, they make impulsive purchases, spend money on things they do not use and have trouble managing their money well. Spending carelessly gives them a sense of control. The more they spend, the better they feel about themselves in terms of power and the capability to make things move. They don't care about budgets and expenses and spend far beyond their limits. Like a kid who has the money to buy a shiny toy they buy whatever the next thing is, get the high out of spending and never look at it again. Due to the lack of a moral compass and a proper inner guidance system, they engage in illegal activities like fraud or embezzlement to get money for their never-ending desires without giving a damn about the consequences. Number three, they are hypocritical and use money to control you. Narcissism and hypocrisy go hand in hand. Most narcissists believe the rules do not apply to them, despite being eager to apply them to everyone else. This holds true for a wide range of regulations, including budgets. A narcissistic partner may spend lavishly on themselves things they want, but not a penny on you, or blow your combined budget, then criticize you for spending more than required. They may scrutinize you for every penny earned and spent, but won't share a single detail about their finances. You may be living with them for years and not have an idea of how much they earn, how much they have in their savings, what their investments look like and what do they do with their money. Did you experience this? Drop your answers below and help other survivors feel validated. They may want to take most of what you earn in the name of spending but never give anything back. You may not even remember the last thing they bought for you. On the other side, quite surprisingly, they may overly spend on you, buy you gifts and take you to expensive places to keep you confused, controlled and stuck in the relationship. I call it gift bombing, a form of love bombing that mostly happens at the beginning of the relationship. Because the possibilities are endless, another way they utilize money for control is they may take away your financial independence and make you beg for basic things. Quite the opposite of being an overspender, they may be the biggest miser you know of. I'll talk about that in a minute. How was your financial financial relationship with the narcissist? Did they spend, overspend or underspend on you? Let me know in the comments below. Number four, 
They are stingy and hoard money only to feel better about themselves. Nothing is free when it comes to a narcissist. There is always a price to pay, which may not be immediate. To put it another way, a narcissist will spend money on you as a part of the transaction that will be completed by you paying back sooner or later in the form of praising them, extending friendship, returning more than what they spent on you, taking care of them in their old age if they are your parents, granting a loan or providing a place for them to crash. If the narcissist has nothing to gain, they will treat you with extreme miserliness and make you beg for basic things like medical care, proper clothing and daily expenses. They may also hoard money but spend none or minimal as a way to feel in control. They love the idea of having hundreds and thousands of dollars in their account, multiple real estate assets and a lot of land in their name. This makes them look important in their own eyes and assumingly in other people's eyes as well. Number five and the last one combining finances, companies, and property. A narcissist will frequently try to enmesh you rapidly once they can if they believe you are financially successful. Doing so enables them to abuse you financially at the highest level possible. They guilt or manipulate you into placing their name on a title, making them the director of your business, paying for upgrades and committing tax fraud in your name. I'll be talking more about this in a minute. No matter how a contract with a narcissist is disguised, the odds are always stacked firmly in their favor. In the disguise of joining the finances and dividing the financial burdens, they steal you of every penny possible while not spending any money of theirs. Joining the accounts, property and other things alike is also a tactic to make it difficult for you to leave and find a way out. They may earn nothing or minimum and unjustly take 50% shamelessly. Talking more about committing tax fraud, they may also use your property or business place of which they are legally a partner to show expenses in their tax filing documents without spending a single penny on you or your business. They may use you like an object and a pawn to play their game and get their desires and needs met without caring if you are ground in the process of doing so. The financial abuse is in the details of the relationship. All in all, they do not only suck you dry emotionally but they do financially as well from being financially stable to bringing you to the streets and making you settle for the bare minimum a narcissist takes everything they can without thinking of the consequences and the devastating impact on your life that was it for today's episode i hope you found it insightful and if you did drop a like comment and share this video i will talk with you in the next one till then let the healing begin